Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of, oops, my necklace is kind of crooked there. Welcome back to my channel for the love of, if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this wax haul slash unboxing. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. You guys clicked on an awesome, awesome video to watch. Um, you guys, before I dive into this, it is, I know everyone's full on fall, I keep saying that. We've been having some beautiful fall weather out here in Michigan and today it's like 88 degrees. I don't know, but I'm really happy that I received my wax order on a day I was off so it wasn't sitting in the mailbox melting. <laughs> um, you guys, before I dive into this, I am super excited to film this video. Um, those of you who've watched me for a while know that I typically would do a lot of reviews on Bath & Body Works, Yankee as well, and I'm kind of branching out and trying different brands. And um, I stumbled upon Kringle a couple months ago. I had heard of them, but I tried them for the first time. I have some videos and hauls on that. And I fell in love. For the most part, I had a very positive experience. There was one candle that was kind of funky. But I fell in love with their um, daylights. Uh, which are like their mini votive candles. And what I wound up doing is I actually popped them out and put them in my wax warmers. I loved them. I loved them. I fell in love with their gilded apple, the longevity on that one teeny tiny little piece of wax in my warmer was like I could use it for two weeks straight and I could still get fragrance. I was in love with it. So I've been eyeballing, and those of you in the candle community, wax community, you know, home fragrance lovers, if you're anything like me, you'll kind of eyeball and maybe have a couple different websites pulled up on your phone at different times. Maybe you're checking out the Homeworks collection, maybe you're looking at, you know, Colonial Candle, maybe you're checking out Kringle, and then you have your Bath & Body Works page. So for me, I was deciding, I knew I wanted to do a wax order, I was tossed up between a couple different places. I've used, um, you know, I've used Yankee wax before. I've used the White Barn wax. Um, I've made my own wax, but I was so impressed with the throw on the daylight candles from Colonial when, or um, from Kringle rather, when I use them in my warmer. I decided to just pull the trigger, and they had a promotion running on their. They call them the daylights are their mini candles. So they had a 12 for 24 on there. I don't know if they have a special name for them. They're like, they're little wax tarts, um, little wax chunks you put in the warmer. I knew I had to snag them because that's such a good price. And so today I finally got my package and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I have not used Kringle that much to where I know all their fragrances. So I just picked a bunch of ones for, um, for fall. I even picked some for holiday, and I even picked some for possibly upcoming like springtime, um, some neutral scents. So we're going to unbox and smell together, and um, I'm super excited about it. So I have not even opened the box yet, so let's dive into it. And while I'm opening this, you guys, if you have used Kringle, comment down below what some of your favorites are. If you're interested to hear more about Kringle Candle, I do have... Not too, too many, but I do have some reviews up. And if you guys follow me on Instagram at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I do a lot of posts of like um, maybe, maybe things that aren't video worthy. So when I'm melting like a certain wax or something like that. So let's dive into this, you guys. Lots of packing peanuts. My kitty cat will absolutely love those. She loves batting at these. Um, I would have to say the turnaround time on this was quite quick. Um, I ordered it, I got it within probably less than a week, less than a week, and a really good price point for these. I will be stocked up on wax for quite, quite a while. What do they call these? Okay, so they're just called wax melts, you guys. So their daylights are little mini, they're almost the same size as this. They have a little wick in them, they're like little votives, maybe a little larger than a votive. And then their wax melts are just their standard little wax melts. And they are sectioned off, it looks like, into four chunks, which when I put my daylight into my warmer, I just threw the whole thing in there. So let me see. So it does come with a little brochure, which I showed in my last Kringle video. And there's not a packing slip in here. I believe they were 
they had to have been, I believe it was 12 for 20 or 12 for 24. And I believe I got, did I get free shipping? I think I may have gotten free shipping as well. For Kringle, you have, the thing I like about Kringle is for shipping, you have a huge array of shipping options. You can do FedEx, you can do UPS, USPS, and it varies. They even have like a flat rate shipping and it's like five bucks. So if you're anything like me, a lot of times I hesitate from ordering online because of shipping. Um, so five bucks is not too, too bad. So just throwing that out there. And they also do run a lot of promotions from time to time. So let's dive into the scents. And you guys, when I do burn these um, slash melt them, I will definitely be doing Instagram posts to document uh, all of these fragrances. Now, all the ones I got are all brand new scents that I have not used before, with the exception of one of them that I loved so much I had to repurchase it. Oh my gosh. I can, I'm like getting, there's so many so many smells going on right now you guys i wish you could like smell it through the camera very very pleasant so the first one that i'm smelling here and sorry if i'm looking down i probably should have opened this up first before i got on camera but i wanted my reaction to be like genuine because i'm smelling these all for the first time so the one that's right on top i'll do this one first is gilded apple i actually did burn the daylight of this one and then i wound up popping it in my wax warmer it, it's prop. It, it's just gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Um, if you guys don't like perfumey type scents, you might not like it. It's almost like a fresh apple with a little bit of a warm amber type scent to it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if I were to purchase, you know, pull the trigger and purchase a full size candle from Kringle again, it would be of Gilded Apple. This is almost, um, this would be a beautiful bedroom scent. If you want like a pretty, if you don't usually do seasonal in the bedroom or bathroom and you want something that still fits with the season and you want it to still be cozy, Gilded Apple. It's, it's beautiful. I can't say enough good things about this. So of course I had to grab one of those. I also grabbed, and these are going to be again, like I said, a little all over the place just because I did fall, holiday, and then I got some versatile ones for like you know, for upcoming, I guess, spring once we pass holiday because, you know, 12 wax melts is quite a lot. Um, and I only have two wax warmers, so I'm not going through wax too, too much. Let me see if I can do them. I'm going to take a peek and see what I got here because I kind of want to do it in order of fall, holiday, and then um, kind of spring slash maybe non-seasonal, I guess you could say. And did I get two gilded apples? No. Okay. So for fall, Gilded Apple, of course. I just talked about that one. And then I also grabbed, oh, I did. I love Gilded Apple so much I got two of them. I love this scent, you guys. I love this scent. And then another fall one that I grabbed, Cortland Apple. This is my first time smelling this. Oh, this is really pretty. It's a little bit softer than Gilded Apple. It smells almost identical to Gilded Apple with that amber warm component removed. If you like um, Yankee Candle Macintosh or um, Honeycrisp Apple from Yankee, if you like Bath and Body Works Farm Stand Apple or any of those, Cortland Apple, at least on cold, smells very similar to those. Really pretty, crisp, fresh scent. And then I think, oh my gosh, you guys, the rest of these... I guess because I have so many fall scents, I really went full on holiday and I got a couple other ones. So we'll dive into holiday now. This is so pretty. Their packaging, their, the pictures are just gorgeous. Christmas stroll. Look at that beautiful wreath. Kringle really nails it on their packaging. Mm, this is really pretty. You know what this smells like? <sighs> this reminds me of like a classic... Christmas. Um, anytime I smell like orange in a holiday type scent, it reminds me of like a classic Christmas fragrance. What's that one from Bath and Body Works that people, you either love it or you hate it. And it's got like a orangey and a fur and kind of like a green type scent. What is it? I, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I've burned it in the past. I, it's, it's just a classic Christmas fragrance. 
orange, some fur needle, um, a little bit of warmth, more so on the fresh side. This is like full on holiday, full on holiday. That's Christmas stroll. I'm sure I'll think of the name after I move on here. Another one that I grabbed, this one could probably be for now. So this is holiday slash fall because I'm also burning with my apple fragrances. I'm doing like cranberry woods, throwing in a little frosted cranberry in there from Bath and Body Works. But Kringle also has their version of frosted cranberry. I love the tartness of cranberry. Ooh, <clears throat> this is beautiful. It's not a fakey cranberry. It's a smooth cranberry, not as sweet as frosted cranberry, not as woodsy as cranberry woods. It's got a sweetness and a smoothness to it. Very pretty, very, very pretty frosted cranberry. This one I would use now. I would melt this now um, alongside my apple fragrances. I also grabbed for holiday, I had to, wild holly berry. Look at the packaging, how beautiful. Wild holly berry. Ooh, this kind of almost has a cranberry-esque scent to it. It smells different than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a little more Christmas tree-esque, it's not. It smells like a tart cranberry. It smells like the frosted cranberry with maybe a little bit of a greenery note to it. This is really pretty. It's more fruity than I thought, which it's holly berry, so of course it's gonna be a fruit, more of like a winter fruit. Really pretty, very fresh, very kind of like effervescent-y. If you like champagne toast, you might like this one. It's not like a fresh balsamy type scent, which is kind of what I thought it would be with a little bit of like a berry note to it, but it's more sweet than I expected. Really pretty. If you like um, Frosted Cranberry from Bath and Body Works, you'll probably like this one as well. And then what else did I grab? Oh, this is something a little different. I, I usually wouldn't, I love hot cocoa and cream from Bath and Body Works, but I just don't feel like it can be blended with a lot of different things. But I did grab cashmere and cocoa. And they do have, I think, just like a regular hot cocoa one, but I like that added kind of warmth to it. Oh, this is really pretty. A lot more muted than hot cocoa and cream. Cozy, very, very cozy. I can smell the cocoa, but there's almost like, um, it sounds weird, but like a warm vanilla undertone to it as well like a cocoa and vanilla this is super cozy this this i feel would blend well with um any other like vanilla or gourmand scent look at the cute packaging with the little cup of cocoa and marshmallows and the little sweater um i think you guys the rest of these are all this is gonna sound crazy but um for like spring or kind of non-seasonal scents you guys watched me in the summer, you know I love lemon, I love citrus. So I had to see what their lemon rind smells like. I almost ordered this in the spring, but I passed on it. I don't know why. Oh yeah, yep. <sighs> I love lemon scents. It smells kind of like a muted Sicilian lemon from Yankee. Not as tart like a blend between sugared lemon zest from Bath and Body Works and um, Sicilian lemon from Yankee. Not as sweet as sugared lemon zest, but not as tart as um, Sicilian lemon. Really pretty. I love lemon scents, love lemon scents. And then the rest of these ones for spring, I know this is so crazy. I, I already am thinking, I'm like, what scents would I do in the spring since I was purchasing so many? And I was like, I'll do like a lavender vanilla because I think lavender vanilla is beautiful. So these are all lavender slash vanilla based scents. Baker's vanilla. I go, this could be blended with anything. I could even use this during the fall when I'm burning like pumpkin pecan waffles even. This is nice. If you are someone who likes just a straight vanilla that's not like a cake or a bakery or anything like that, super sweet, this is just a very muted, straightforward vanilla. 
this could be like coupled in with most any fragrance and I think it's really fitting they have that kind of powdered sugar on there it's not a like vanilla cake or anything like that really really pretty really really pretty um, I also grabbed I forgot I got this one vanilla cone again I thought this could blend with most anything a little bit okay I can get the cone aspect to it so it's vanilla but it has like a waffle cone um, note to it which again I think the picture is super fitting super super fitting this one's really pretty this one's yummy and then of course I had to grab French lavender I love lavender such a pretty fragrance for like the bedroom or anything really um, a muted lavender it's not an in-your-face super strong herbal lavender as sometimes French lavender can be don't get me wrong it's an herbal but it's not a super overly potent herbal and it's got a little bit of a warmth to it as well very um, authentic lavender scent very pretty and then the one that I was actually most excited for they actually have a lavender vanilla. Look at that picture. How beautiful is that? Like a vanilla cupcake with like purple lavender sprinkles on it. Lavender vanilla. Oh, <laughs> this is really pretty. If you guys like, do you remember Bath and Body Works, the lavender Paris macaron, or lavender macaron, it was called Paris lavender macaron. When that came out like spring a few years ago, that's all I burned. If you're a fan of that fragrance, I really think you'll like the lavender vanilla because it's got like that warm, I don't want to say perfumey because it's not overly perfumey, but just a beautiful blend of like the lavender and vanilla. Really, really pretty. Really impressed with this one. I was hoping it would smell like that. Um, it's a little bit light, so I'm curious to see how this will um, melt down and what the throw will be like on here. Um, some of these you got, and that's, and that's it, and that's it. I can't believe I really didn't get any like pumpkin or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to try all different kinds, but so far, obviously, just on cold, my favorite gilded apple is just like, I just love it so much. This is beautiful, beautiful. I'm really looking forward to trying the frosted cranberry. That one's really pretty. I feel like this one might be, um, I hope it's, it's got quite a strength to it just from this teeny tiny little packaging so I'm curious to see how this one is and then Christmas stroll this one's really beautiful as well and in regards to like reviewing I'll be posting on Instagram if there's any that are just absolutely phenomenal that I love 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 um, I will definitely do a video on it some of these I'm not gonna get around to melting for quite a while but if you guys are curious let me know and I can definitely do a test run if you guys are um, maybe thinking of purchasing any of these just comment down below or find me on Instagram and DM me and I can give you my insights on any of these ones um, if I have melted them um, at that time. So you guys, that's it for me today. I've been super excited to do this haul. So if you guys made it this whole 18 minutes of listening to me talk about and smell all kinds of wax, thank you for sticking with me. If you guys have used Kringle Candle in the past, comment down below what your favorite fragrances are. So you guys, that is it for me today. I hope you guys are enjoying your start to the fall. Hopefully you guys are starting to get some gorgeous fall weather. I cannot wait for the leaves to change. It's going to be beautiful, beautiful. Um, you guys, that's it for me. If you guys are on Instagram, I know I've mentioned it already. Come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys. <laughs>